Hey, imagine with Alexa. How many people make dumb Alexa play song jokes to you? I've deleted Tinder too many times because of it. Dang, that's so sad. Alexa, add cry to my to-do list. <laughs> Mary, 19. Just a simple Amish girl on Rumspringa looking to lose her virginity. I want you to plow me harder than Jedediah plows the fields. Ooh. Ooh. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Andre is 30 years old. He's a lawyer and he went to Harvard Law School. In time for the week. And the week after that. Probably the following week too, I live here and don't really have anywhere else to go. Horoscope girls be like, Hey, I'm sorry I cheated on you and screwed your dad, but I'm an asparagus. It's just how I am. Hey, hey, how you doing? Just got my butt eight. <laughs> she capitalized eight. What am I supposed to do? Just got my butt eight. Wanna come help out? Not even gonna lie, I could totally go for my tongue in your butt right now. Wow, this usually never works. <laughs> LMAO, really? Girls who don't like a tongue in their butt aren't fun. Okay, but can I put my tongue in your butt? I'm being serious. Answer the frickin' question, damn it. Me when I install Tinder for the 764th time. People keep asking if I'm back. And I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. You match with Anthony. I have bad news. Already? The doctor called. Oh no. He said I'm suffering from a lack of vitamin U. Crazy, mine just told me the same thing. Only I think he said vitamin D. <laughs> they're real and they're spectacular. Thanks, Tits McGee. Jokes? Why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? The P is silent. Nah, bro, because they're extinct, dummy. Idiot, you're an idiot. <laughs> Marissa, more like moron, Issa. Got him. Bumble asked me if I needed a good opener. I do, but why don't you go first? The Uno Reverse card. Ooh-wee! Whoa, doggy, that's a good one. Hello, nice to meet you. This is my business card. And it's a link to dirtycode.io. What the actual frick is wrong with you? The link this man sent me is a series of images of an illustration of what his wiener looks like. It also has graphs of how much he finishes and diagrams of his favorite sex positions. It is honestly the most grim thing I've ever received on Tinder. Carla's 20 years old and she says, Can't speak French, but I can handle your wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> Je ne parle pas français. <laughs> Je ne parle pas français. I do not speak French, my friend. Casey, 19. Stats, HP, 5. XP, 2. Strength, 1. Intellect, 3. Charisma, 4. Weapon of choice. It's a, it's a big old knife. Felisa's 26. You want a tramp? Buy one. You want a queen? Earn her. So, how much do you charge? I like to be choked, but sea turtles don't. Please recycle. Thank you, Jennifer. Christopher's 26 years old. Do you like cuddles? Do you like cheesy jokes? Are you lonely? Then this Christopher model is for you. The Christopher comes equipped with the following. Cheesy jokes, cuddle mode, listen mode, can be buggy, self-learning technology, state-of-the-art penis technology. Act fast and order your Christopher now. Only one left in stock. Batteries not included. Penis size may vary. Ugly in person. Hit me with your comprehensive plan to fight climate change. Elimination of the human race. You remind me of my uncle. Wanna smash? Just kidding, I just wanna grab some coffee with you. Jesus, your uncle must have quite the bod. In spite of all the childhood trauma, he is pretty ripped. This is bad. That's what I said to my uncle, but he just didn't listen. Thanks, Daniela. Thanks for giving him the opening to make that one-liner. Yogurt, cereal, ice cream, Maddie from Tinder. I'm making a list of all the things I want a spoon later. Well, what are you waiting for? Consent. I, Maddie, hereby consent to being spooned by blank from Tinder. When all the girls who say, if you have a dog in your picture, I'll swipe right, don't swipe right. Those bastards lied to me. Sorry, old man. I would milk you like a cow. Please fill my mouth with your cream. I can do that. What's your snap? Will you be my cow? If that means nutting in your mouth, moo moo, bruh. <laughs> Take me out to the pasture, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Everyone calls me Ann, but you could call me tonight. Hi, tonight I'm Dad. Got him. Got him. 
Hey Victoria, this is an automated message to remind you of your upcoming Netflix and Chill appointment in the next week. To confirm your appointment, text yes daddy. To unsubscribe, please text wrong hole. Standard text and bill rates do apply. Thank you for choosing slide in your DMs. Oh my god, I've never seen this. Message unrecognized. Please confirm with yes daddy. To unsubscribe, text wrong hole. <laughs> yes daddy. Well, you say you like dark humor, so do you want to hear a nice, friendly joke for a change? Sure, go ahead. What's a pirate's favorite letter? I know where this is going, but I'll give you the satisfaction of saying it. You may think it be R, but it's true love be the C. Frickin' got him, LMAO. OMG, 10 out of 10 for the twist. That's brilliant. My favorite joke. It trumps all of my dark jokes, I think. I think it trumps all of mine. You've set the standard too high for this conversation. Don't expect me to be funny. I've already failed. 22 years old, ball control like Messi, use my head like Ronaldo, no more- <laughs> Jesus. No more positions than Milner, more men in my book than Mike Dean, don't bike like Suarez, suck wiener like a champ! Did you get home? Yeah, I did, but now my phone was dead, so it took a while. Oh my god, you could have died! The only people who had the opportunity to kill me were people going to work and a cat. How do you know? Well, you're right, the cat did look pretty dangerous. Tinder dog 18 Tell me your issues, ask me for advice, ask for pickup lines, I've got you either way, my dude. I love Tinder Doggo. It's always great to come across him. LOL, well, well, you do have a great smile. I can assure you, it's not great in person, but I can speak English really well, so that's something. Should I be surprised that you can speak English? It's my main talent. Do you speak any other languages? I do not. I am a hopeless romantic looking for a cute, simple relationship. I will steal your sweatshirts, I love escape rooms, Jesus is my friend, I've also never seen The Notebook, nor Game of Thrones. I made an escape room in my basement, no one ever won yet. Wow. Background, her bio says, got my heart broke by a tinder boy, ready for the next. Mine says, ex-gymnast, impossible, your next ex. Ready for the next, and I'm ready for my ex. It's a one-week relationship made in heaven. Let's frickin' go. Well, Abby, I just have one question. How do you feel about subpar conversation and mediocre smashing? My favorite. Welcome to the crap show! Oh, gosh. Does this mean I have to start carrying a bookmark if I don't want to lose you? Wow, funny. Oh, man, you probably get that a lot, don't you? No, actually, I've never heard that one. Dang, well, I noticed that most pages have numbers, but I didn't happen to catch yours. Holy crap. You deserve that. And it's her phone number. We got it, boys. We got the number. Time to act like our feet are greased up and just slide in. Queenie's 24. My superpower is that I don't have a gag reflex. At first, when people found out, they just called me a freak. Now, they just call me... All the time. This Templar's 23. He's a knight at the Catholic Church, and he studied at the Kingdom of Jerusalem. I am usually busy slaughtering infidels and just generally crusading about, really. I love riding my horse and screwing stuff up for the glory of God. I do like to chill out, though. I read the Holy Scriptures and sometimes clean the blood off my sword. I find it very relaxing. I have a pretty full-on job taking back the Holy Land. I'm just kind of seeing what's about at the moment. Hit me up. I don't do Insta because I keep getting banned. Deus Volt. Me reading about 90% of matches not responding. You guys are getting matches? Carolyn's 22. Looking for someone to be my right-hand man. Ka-ching! Ain't that a funny joke? Give me a topic, any topic, and I'll make a pickup line out of it. Hawaii pizza is the best pizza ever. Oh boy, you couldn't be more wrong, but I made a promise, so... Hey girl, you clearly into making bad decisions about what to put in your mouth, so how about a night with me? Oh, Kura! <laughs> I'm dying right now. Okay, so that's a good sign, I hope. You made my night, man. And you can make his, by putting him in your mouth. Do you know the pools on the Titanic still have water in them? Because they're underwater? <laughs> no, it's science! Your explanation is too easy. Sorry, did I ruin it for you? <laughs> no, the Titanic's a bad icebreaker anyway. Rhea's 21. You should date me because I won't walk out of your life. That's fair. But I also see you're out of your chair. You're not gonna be walking. In. You're not gonna be walking anywhere, stupid. <laughs> so we got a big old wagon with some painted things on the pocket. Hey, Michaela, I like those jeans with the painted pockets. I'm a bit of an artist myself. However, I would have a much different method of painting those cheeks. Thank you, and you could do whatever you want, including clapping those cheeks. Give me an A. A. Give me an N. N. Give me an A. Hey, give me an L.
No. That's not Nell. Me making a terrible joke. My matches. R slash Tinder. Matthew's 22. Now that Game of Thrones is over, I could be the biggest disappointment in your life. But doom That's what we call a funny joke. Match with four girls on Bumble. None of them talk to me within 24 hours. Doodlebob is 21 and he says, Ni hoi minoi, hoi minoi. That's Doodlebob for I love you. Hey. Yo, I think we have the same pillow. We do. So when you sleep in my bed, it'll feel just like home. That's smooth, I like that. You match with oil on 53019. Send crudes! <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask questions to each other so we can get to know each other. Kinda personal questions? Okay, how many nostrils do you have? Uh, I'm not really good at this game, maybe you start. <laughs> okay, at what age did you get physical for the first time? Uh, my mom would beat me since I was three, and my father started beating me at age five. Oh. You ever get any crappy pickup lines about Rome? <laughs> LOL, no. Really kind of feel like that's the easiest to do with your name. Why? You can call me the Arab because I'm going to bring Alexandria to its knees. As a history lover, thank you so much for this. Like, yes, 10 out of 10, 5 stars on Yelp. They're on to us, boys. Gotta step our game up. Here for a good time, not for a long time. Sometimes. I love partying, clubbing, and raving. You guys need to stop. Getting your pickup lines from Reddit. I've gotten the exact same one six times this week. Why? <laughs> Again, nice job hiding your name, moron. This is, the, this is the second Tinder video in a row where someone's tried to censor a username or, or an actual name and then forgot the report option shows their name. Good job, dummy. Welcome back to dummy school. <laughs> then what do you like? You. I'm the smoothest man to ever live. I really just walked right into that one, didn't I? I like to think I led you there. <laughs> Whatever works. Have your smooth skills land you any luck on this app? If by luck you mean a girlfriend, then no. If by luck you mean smashing... Also no. Samantha25. About Samantha. I like it, Ruff. Yeah, I could see, I could see that. Did you smash Godzilla? What'd you do there? What happened? Sasha's 22. You can delete me on Facebook, you can unfollow me on Twitter, you can delete my number, but you can never unlick my butthole. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. Are you a shark? Because I got some swimmers for you to swallow. The likelihood of a shark attack is 1 in 3,748,067, so I think your chances here are slim. Sim is 22. N need help with a new pose. Yeah, you do, man. I'm posing with a snowman on my profile. Exactly. Is that snow guy your ex, by the way? They look like a hot piece of butt. Yeah, she was too cold to me. Cheated on me with the snowman from across the road. I found a carrot on her bedside table and it wasn't hers. Jesus, I am so sorry. We had a similar thing happen when I dated a scarecrow. Came home when there was a trail of hay leading up to the bedroom. Nothing but a couple of sticks and a sun head on the pillows. Dang, I bet that was the last straw for you guys. I once knew a scarecrow. Was a jerk when he was outstanding in his field. Nice. Sup, wanna screw? That ever worked for you? First time I've ever said it, to be honest. Maybe try again then. <laughs> Sup, wanna screw? Why do surfers eat cold food? What do you mean? We eat around the best surfing conditions, but when it gets dark, we cook up an awesome hot meal. I usually cook up a big breakfast after I surf in the morning also. Um, because they don't like microwaves? That's true. We don't. Oh my gosh, Sydney! We haven't talked in forever! Okay, so what's the rest of the pickup line? Wait, what? Oh my god, please don't tell me you actually know me and I just said that crap. <laughs> Let's see how long we can ride this out, boys. I've never met this girl. Me, ugly AF, way out of my league girl. Super like. It must be backwards day, because you're a gem. Ha! <laughs> That's actually a good pickup line. Now kiss. What are you doing tomorrow? Hanging out with you, I think. I don't remember seeing that on my schedule. Oh, never mind then. What's on your schedule tomorrow then? Whack it, whack it, whack it, whack it, whack it. Kate, 26, 46 miles away. Just on here to let my boyfriend, Zach, 29, know that I know that he's using this even though we bought a house eight months ago. Okay, well, I don't wish that was me. I can confidently say that. Next up, we've got Ricky, University. Uh, don't buy Colgate whitening toothpaste. It says guaranteed whiteness in 14 days. 
It's been two weeks and I'm still Asian. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. You should consider suing. So I went to see my doctor and he told me I'm deficient in vitamin U. Slow claps. Do you want a vitamin C me so I can give you the vitamin D? I'm not sure if I want a vitamin B with you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, looks like I'm on a lucky break here because I don't wish that was me either. Rip. No way, I'm Russian too. I could tell. Russian to get your clothes off. I never Stalin to put in. We should roleplay Donald Trump and the Russians, but instead of playing with the elections, you can play with my erections. Ooh, yeah, good thinking. I actually have to be able to hold the conversation. Same. I'm testing you. Usually the result is positive. Good. They usually start with, I have some bad news, so I'm not sure if it's good. Huh? Oh, oops. Was that an r slash whoosh? Please don't post me for seven karma. Karen took the kids and my dignity is all I have left. And then they posted it anyway. Absolutely brutal. So what made you swipe? A self-destructive need to ruin every conversation I have with a woman. Oh, okay. Hey, you should play me a song. Bet. What, what song do you want to hear? I know a lot of Led Zeppelin, but if you give me a song, I can learn it for you. Alright, dope. The Sound of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel. I can do that too. Garfunkel, what a... What a... Garfunkel, that's a strange name. I didn't realize that was who made that song. Anyway, how good are you at Scrabble? I get excited when I get Z's and Q's. I've always thought the scoring felt a bit off, TBH. Interesting. Elaborate. I mean, if you want, there's probably more interesting things to talk about anyway. Well, the way I see it, Nina, by the way, that's your name, just by the way, setting that. There's no way the correct value of Nina is four. I'd say it's at least a solid 10. Oh my God. Oh my god! I can spell both renal- wait, what? L L renal? Is that a word? What does renal mean? Come to my help, Google. Relating to the kidneys, okay. I can spell both renal and learn, be rearranging- well, you can't spell the word by, how about that one? <laughs> be rearranging the letters in your name, but only after I take you out. Hmm, that- that's some intelligent crap. My name it could use a D if you want to give it. There are a lot of D jokes in this one, I've just- yeah. If I gave you a D, I could make a Londa or a Lodan. A Lodan refers to a lazy individual, something I am not in the bedroom. Lodan sounds like laundry, which is clean, which is also something I'm not in the bedroom. <laughs> All right, you've got three options here. A, a dad joke. B, a dirty joke. C, RPG adventure. A and C, lol. All right, all right, here we go. Generating, boo, generating world. <laughs> and now, you wake up in a tunnel with no memory of how you got there or who you are. At one end, you see a faint light. Next to you is a pack. On the other end is just pitch black. A, go towards the light. B, open the pack. C, go into the dark. Uh, B, open the pack. You crawl over to the pack and unfasten it. Opening it, you find a length of rope, a rusty flashlight, and a torn picture. There's a female on the whole side. Is that you? The other side seems like it had another person, but you can't find the missing piece in the bag. And now do you A, go down the light side of the tunnel, or B, go down the dark side of the tunnel? I'll pick A, the light side. You slowly make your way towards the light. You feel it getting warmer as you do. The tunnel begins to widen until you reach the exit and you find yourself standing on a ledge in the cavern. To either side you see stalagmites and in front of you a cliff. You see two falls, one made of water and the other lava. And now do you A. Look down below the cliff, B. Look around the ledge, or C. Go back. I'll pick A. Look down below the cliff. You move to the edge. Below you is a pool with water on one side and lava on the other. In the center where they meet there seems to be a path where the water cools the lava. It looks to be about 20 feet below. Below you. Do you A. Check rope length, a B. Look around ledge, or C. Go back. B. Look around ledge. You search around the ledge and find a pathway behind the stalagmites that leads behind the lava fall. Do you A. Check rope length, B. Go behind lava fall, or C. Go back. B. Go behind lava fall. Haha, <laughs> this is fun. You climb through the rocks and walk down the path. The closer you get to the lava, the hotter it becomes. Once behind the fall, you feel the blistering heat and see a large dark door against the cliff face. You also see a dark object just within the lava fall. Do you A. Inspect the door, B. Inspect the lava fall, or C. Go back. I'm glad you're liking it. I'll pick B. Inspect the lava fall. You get closer to the fall, shielding yourself from the heat. It seems like if you had something to cover your hand, you could grab whatever the object is and pull it out. Do you A. Wrap the rope around your hand and try to grab it, B. Inspect the door, or C. Go back. I'll pick A. Try to grab it. Wrapping the rope tightly around your hand and plunging it into the lava, you feel extreme heat and then something solid. You quickly grab hold and 
yank it out, the rope bursts into flames as you rip it off. The object, now in your hand, is surprisingly cool to the touch. It looks like a small grill. A. Open it. B. Inspect the door. Or C. Go back. I'll pick A. Open it. You open it and feel a blast of heat come from inside. You find a crooked piece of steak and notice an inscription on the inside of the lid. It says, I love a good barbecue. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. If you want to subscribe to Jose's RPGs and go on a date with him, please input your phone number. He better have got it. Like after all that writing, he better have got it. Um, good luck, Jose. You are my man. That was solid. Are you going out to see the river tomorrow? Want to drill my coochie? What? <laughs> what? Who we've got? A cheating husband. 26. Liar. Hi, my name is Diego, and I'm a cheating husband slash first time dad who's looking for a Sancha. My wife found out I had Tinder while she was 37 weeks pregnant, and I cried because I felt embarrassed. But here I am again. My baby is four months old, and I'm on Tinder again, and my wife doesn't know. <laughs> I just can't help but look at other women. Also, if you see me out in public, slap me or punch me for being a dumbass and ruining my marriage and little family, all because I want another female's coochie. That was horrible. Oh my god. Here we got Jen, 32. I just want to find someone more disappointing than me so my mum won't question her parenting abilities for a brief moment. Ah, uh, fair enough, you know, look, looking out for those most important to you. I respect it. Okay, here we've got, uh, <laughs> yeah, a classic gif of our friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man is so thick. Uh, you know, they used to call me Spider-Man in high school. Because you're thick? No, because my uncle got murdered. <laughs> oh my goodness. Please tell me that's not real. Hey, we matched on Tinder before, lol. Lol, yes, I remember. How have you been, Mike? Anything new? Nothing new since you stopped talking to me after I suggested hanging out, lol. That, that's the saddest XD I've ever seen. That is a thinly veiled sad emoji right there. Hey, tell me a joke. Your life without me. When am I coming over? Dude, you could come over tonight if you really wanted to. Okay, we're back at it, okay? I, I, I wish that was me again. We're back. <laughs> We're back where we started. Okay, here we're saying to Paige, uh, I recently published a book. It's been described as a real page turner. LOL, my last name is Turner too. Oh my God. Nice. Here we've got Summer, 18. Uh, a professional dumbass. May resume. My, my second favorite daughter, my mum. Must have put extra dumb birch sauce in her. The Lord. I wish I had it, son. Dad. Yeah, five out of ten. Me. There we have it, folks. The most relatable Tinder profile in history. You like horses? I do. <laughs> I've been compared to them before. Oh? Hardworking? Graceful? And strong? <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, and also I have a huge dong. There it is. Here we've got Libby. 18. Graduated from hell. I'm the kind of person you can't take home to meet your mum. She'll think I'm super funny and charming and cute, but actually kind of sexy at the same time. She falls in love with me. I think I feel the same way. We get married. I'm your dad now. I confront you. Why are you on Tinder? You are now grounded. Yikes. Freak, you're fine as poo, girl. Hi, be my goth GF. My pleasure. Is that something you can handle? Because you say that now, but what about when I have you tied up to a chair and I'm ripping your heart out? Hmm? Oh, crap. What? You mean like murder me? Because I freaks with that crap heavy. Yeah, basically. And drain you of your blood and pour it over your body. So you'll definitely definitely be dead by the end of it. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna have to murder that coochie first. BOY! Have you heard about the latest Spotify glitch? If this is another hottest single joke, <laughs> what's that? For some reason, they didn't have you listed at this week's hottest single. Brilliant. I haven't, haven't heard it before. <laughs> Can you believe that? Hmm, did you check under recently played? Brilliant. Do you know what a balloon has that my life doesn't? <laughs> what? Well, Aaron, it has air in it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That was actually really clever. Well, now it does. What do you like to do on your free time? I'm playing basketball, video games, and reading are probably my most regular hobbies. What about you? I like to hang out with friends, my dog, or read and relax. Oh, what kind of dog? Wait, was that meant to be from your alternate account or like, well, I'm confused. Is this meant to, <laughs> is this because the, these are the same person? I'm confused. Right, so it's either they're responding to the wrong person and it's and it's just weird. Nah, no, it has to be because it's like they have the same account, right? <laughs> send nudes. <laughs> well, now Tinder just asked me if you sent any inappropriate messages. Oh, Tinder knows. Yeah, watch this, send nudes. 
It didn't work. Damn, maybe it knows you're the creepy one. Bruh, 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 bruh. bruh. I'm looking for the Han to my lair, the Ben to my satin. I don't know what that's from and I'm not gonna try to say it. Right, it has to be a Star Wars thing, but I don't remember that name being in Star Wars. Anyway. My Anakin to my Padme. Maybe not the last one because I don't want you to choke me. Wait, maybe I do. Blah, 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 blah. Nine. That's my number if you ever want to text. Wait, what the frick? That's my number. That's impossible. Call that number right now. Uh, text it. I'm texting myself. Uh, try calling me real quick. It won't let me call it. It makes me put in my voicemail password. I just convinced the Tinder boy that we had the exact same number, so I didn't have to text him. Are you absolutely sure you want bad pickup lines? I want your worst. Okay, you asked for it. You wanna sit on my face and let me eat my way to your heart? <laughs> Tinder call you out for inappropriate language on my end. It asked me if your messages made me uncomfortable, <laughs> lmao. I didn't report you though. You're welcome. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. For real, I've, I've never seen that happen before, lol. Wanna play Barbie? I'll be Ken and you be the box I come in. Oh wow, that one is even worse. Oh man, Rex, get back here, dude. Sorry, he just runs off sometimes. So anyway, how's your morning been? I'm a camp person. Oh man, Stella, get back here. <laughs> Sorry, she runs off sometimes. A fun fact, Stella is actually my old dog's name and it looks just like the dog in this picture. So isn't that a cool coincidence? Rachel 18, I'll watch you play COD and tell you the other guy was definitely using aimbot when you die. I am all for honesty in a relationship, but you know what? If you can cushion that blow a little bit, it might go a really long way. Good job, I believe in you. I expect your best pickup line by noon tomorrow. As of now, I'm ahead to bed. Are your allergies acting up? Why is it in all caps? No, why? Because I think you need some more vitamin me. Uh, Ashley, I, I don't know if you know this, but people don't take vitamins for allergies. Well, here I am. What are your other two wishes? That's weird. I don't remember ordering an average white male from Tinder. <sighs> oh, I'd call your credit card company because I think that's an unauthorized purchase. <laughs> Gursahib, uh, 20. Student at the Imperial College of London. Lives in London, four kilometers away. I'm really into beekeeping. Oh, cute. I see a bee, I keep it. Doesn't matter whose bee it is. They should have done a better job keeping it. Yeah, I should have known something was up with the horse mask. Sorry, I'm late. I'm your Christmas present. About time you showed up. Christmas is over in 20 minutes. Sorry, been a nightmare getting here. COVID's slowing down all the packages, including mine. <laughs> Good job, you managed to deliver your package to me just in time then. This Christmas is suddenly looking better. You don't have to worry about my package coming early. Hope it's not too big to fit in my letterbox. Oh, there's absolutely no worry of that. <laughs> oh man, you were going so well. Alex is a boy's name. Billy is a goat's name. <laughs> <laughs> we matched, but are you ready for a six foot six tall man? That's too blunt and honest, lol, cause nobody else is, lol. Are you ready for a five foot two woman that doesn't need a man so she'll be blunt right back? This could be the start of something beautiful or an epic fight. Which do you prefer? Intelligence, kindness, or beauty? Uh, mostly a boob guy, honestly. Her, the office, adventures, smoke me out. Me, thinking of something to impress her, I'm also boring as frack. <laughs> Am I the only one that never got the office? I just, I don't. Go ahead, comment section, dispense your hate, get it all out now. Becky, 21, 17 miles away. This is her brother here. Honestly, I beg someone matches with her, so she hangs around with me less. Oh, would put that typical hurt my sister and I will hurt you in ways you can't imagine, but seriously, I don't care. She just hangs around with me too much now. <gasps> Poor guy needs some space. Wow, what? You're very pretty. Do you have a CDL by any chance? What's a CDL? A commercial driver's license. For that absolute dump truck of an ass. <laughs> Haven't heard that one before? Well, if you want to park it at my place, you can do so whenever you want. That was smooth, and none of you can say otherwise. I'm only half Irish, so uh, quick, pick a half. Uh, what's your other half? It's okay, even if you weren't Irish, I'd still kiss you. Oh my god, no, kiss me, I'm Irish, pun intended. I would just kiss you. My other half? Well, up until yesterday, I wasn't sure I had met her. But after seeing your favorite artists, it's making me wonder. Whoa, that was so smooth. Oh, you are such a charmer. Your other half nationality. 
That was smooth. That was beautifully smooth. You wear a lot of hats. You have lots of tats. Do you have any cats? No, because they can be brats. You know, I think I've heard that. I'm loving this chat. Give yourself a pat. This is wholesome. I like it. I hope this keeps going. Round two. Let's go. Will she remember that we matched once before? We shall see. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha ha. <laughs> no. Normally I'd call them puppers. Or their name. But yeah, dogs are cool. Have you ever had a root? Nah, mate, but uh, I've read a lot about it in books, so I am imagine I'm pretty good. Send me a photo of your cock. Cock-a-doodle-doo, bringing you coffee. This is Barry. <laughs> it took me forever to teach him how to make breakfast. <laughs> Weird that you knew I had a rooster, though. One day he'll learn how to use a fire extinguisher. Are you fracked up? No, no this is genius. No, keep it going. My friends and cute girls love duck pics. So I figured I'd send you that. He also said something about autocorrect, but I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> My friend said cute guys like booby pics. He didn't mention anything about autocorrect, so I think I've got this in the bag with that one. Definitely. Y'all belong together. Dad jokes or pickup lines? Dad jokes all the way. I just recently finished building a model of Mount Everest, and a friend asked, is it to scale? No, I said, it's to look at. You're pretty skilled. Are you sure you aren't somebody's father? Well, not yet, but I can be your daddy. <laughs> Here, catch! Got it! Now you throw it back, and I'll go deep. What? <laughs> wow, I missed that the first time around. Girls on Tinder. I'm tall, so I need a taller guy. Me, who likes girls taller than me. Guess I'll die alone. Can you spot me on my squats? I'm trying to grow my glutes, and you obviously know what you're doing. Ha <laughs> ha, I got you. But only if you return the favor. Deal. But can we get a healthy meal afterwards? And do fun cardio at least four times a week? I'm down, as long as we're not running. Absolutely no running. But our heart rates will definitely be elevated. And we're gonna swim. Wet. The most intense two minutes of your life, if you know what I mean. Mama, how is this a dirty joke? Yes, it is. Oh my god. You super likes death. Oh, do it. Oh god. No way. You were my top lick. <laughs> I did not just say top lick. Oh, okay, all right, let's try that again. No way! You were my top pick and super liked. I feel so much pressure to come up with an epic pickup line, but instead, I'm just going to shun you an unsolicited D pick. Enjoy! Whack. This is the first time I've genuinely enjoyed an unsolicited D pick. Thank you for sharing. It's rude not to send another D pick back, right? I don't know the formality of this. Whack. Or maybe you prefer pussy? Y'all are cute, keep talking. I'm invested now. My favorite part of the body is the eyelid. I I is that how you think my name is pronounced? I li <laughs> to be fair, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Idea. Tinder, but for fighting. You swipe right on dudes whose asses you want to kick. And if you both swipe each other, you gotta fight. That's the most testosterone loaded idea I've read all night. And this is r slash Tinder. Hey, can you fix my brain? Buddy, I can't even fix my own brain. Mood. Hey there, how's it going? Snapchat me. No, I don't think I will. Something scratched out. Did I st t t t t t tutter? I have no idea what's going on here, Ava, but we're not switching to Snapchat. Lexi, 18, Arizona State University. Woman five miles away. If you got your height in your bio, you probably ugly. Five foot three. Oh no. Oh, Lexi, I'm sure you are not ugly. I can be the only ugly Lexi. It's the rules. Hey there. Hey, if you woke up tomorrow morning as a guy, what's the first thing you're doing? Do you want my honest answer? Or do you want like a, we just met and I should be appropriate answer? The honest one, por favor. Helicopter dick immediately. Welcome to the Nathan Douglas Tinder experience. Please hold while I think of a first message. Thank you for your patience. Unfortunately, the flirting department is down at the moment and I am unable to produce a compelling icebreaker. Please try again later. If you're four foot 11 and I'm five, Five foot eleven. If I give you six inches, we'll be even. Well, ha, huh, that went well. When I realize I have to tell my life story all over again to be in another relationship. All right, let's do this one last time. For an IT guy, LinkedIn is like a reverse dating site. Girls write to you, and you ignore them. <laughs> when you get zero matches on Tinder. But then you post your bio on r slash Tinder and people actually like it. They love me. Yeah, I've spent way too long trying to come up with a pun from your name. Thank you for not saying one. I actually immediately unmatch anyone that says one to me. Merry Christmas. Fair enough. Mara Chris, oh my God. Margo 21. Getting lost in the supermarket as a child was scarring. My mama would call out my name and everyone would call out Polo. 
drowning out my pleas for help. <laughs> I can tell you're impressed by my flirting skills. Who wouldn't be? Did I say flirting skills? I meant mating call. I am very uncomfortable with the energy we've created in the studio today. What are some things you are good at cooking? Hey, yo, how's it going? And I'm good at meth. <laughs> Uh, uh, you're starting 2021 a little too strong, Priscilla. Am I Leonardo da Vinci? Cause I'm gonna make you moan, Alicia. Hey there. Hello, no face. Would you like to see my face? Yeah, lol. Send me a little something to my cash app at this and I'll send you some pictures. What the hell? Money just to see your face? Frack no, lol. You're not master freaking chief. <laughs> oh my God. Hey. Hi. Hmm, not used to someone else texting first. Let me hear your pickup line. Oh God, I am bad at pickup lines, but... Are you from Nether? Because you are hot. I mean, that wasn't bad. It was fine. Damn, I'm about to cancel my Spotify premium account. They didn't even name you the hottest single this month. That's awful, I'm sorry. Alrighty, attempt number two. You trying to yuck? Oh, okay, all right. Um, right. I'll just leave you two to it. You're pretty. I give up one of my tests to cuddle with you. That's a pretty serious commitment to cuddling just for you. I bet you offer it to all your Tinder girls. And then on the day of our wedding, instead of exchanging rings, you hand me a small box. On a velvet pillow lies your testicle. I didn't tell that to anyone, just you. And sure, you can have my testicle. I'd rather have your heart. Ah, In a jar. Oh, uh, okay then. I've got a job of it. Hey girl, if you were a vegetable, you would be a cucumber. Well, cucumbers are are actually botanically fruits because of the seeds. But you have a piece of my heart for the effort. Vegetable is a culinary category, not a botanical category. Many foods are both fruits and vegetables. You know what? You're right. Don't worry, you're still the apple of my eye. I find all of this very appealing. That was bad. Maybe I'll leave the pickup lines to you. That was on the same level of quality of anything I came up with. With our pickup lines, we'd make a great pair. Good lord, that was a lot of puns. Be honest, did you swipe for me or the dog? A little bit of both, to be honest. Damn. He said you're not his type, though. Too hairless, he said. Aw, well, damn. Yes, he can be harsh. You should go out with me to make him jealous. Sounds like a plan. Aw, that was cute. I finally matched with a beautiful girl on Tinder. Our chat is amazing. She has an OnlyFans page. I can live with that. She really likes me. I finally scored her Venmo account number and sent some money to pay her water bill. I haven't heard from her in a few days. I wonder when we're going to start dating. I can't wait. Ah. Uh... Oh no. Imagine this. We are both strangers in a grocery store, but we make eye contact in the produce section. My hands are full of limes as I am unable to hold all of them. Limes are falling all over the ground, rolling left, right, and just all over. You rush over in an effort to help, and I look deeply into your eyes and say, sorry, I'm bad at pickup limes. Can I post this on Reddit, please? <laughs> oh, oh, sure. Welcome to Reddit. Well done, Zach. A little bit about me. Climber, skier, mountain, dot, dot, dot. You sound awesome in every way but the beard. A man who gives up his beard for pussy deserves neither the beard nor the pussy. Okay, then. Well, wasn't aware of this beard code. Ugh, you get me. I think we're soulmates, actually. Only one way to find out. Yu-Gi-Oh duel? I was gonna say meat for a cup of coffee, but I mean, I can learn Yu-Gi-Oh to duel it out. Wow, you're a real one. I'm invested in these. Like, I actually want these to work out. Guys' looks aren't important. It's all about the attitude. I'm sorry, I'm physically repulsed by your face. <laughs> I don't know how to shotgun. It's now my mission to teach you. Step one, get a shower. I don't own one of those. How do I acquire one? Well, I've got one at my place we can use sometime. Wait, what the frack? You don't have a shower? No, I bathe in the pond out back. I, uh, are you a frog or something? Because ribbit ribbit, I'm down to hit it. <laughs> Are you Santa? Because I want to sit on your lap and tell you what I want. You want to sit on my lap? Like, outside my pants? And then just ask me for schnit? I'm sorry, sir. Do you have a better idea? Pants off and I don't buy you anything. Okay. Meeting girls at work and having sex. Meeting girls at weddings and having sex. Meeting girls at bars and having sex. Matching with girls on Tinder and getting ghosted. <laughs> Do you prefer a bad joke or a schnitty pickup line? A statement that makes me question my sexuality. I change my bed sheets once every six months. That'll work. Thank you. Hey, how's it going today? I had a great time meeting you last night, and for some reason I couldn't tell why, who you reminded me of and tried to figure it out last night. Then after I got home, my sister sent me a message, and it was at that exact moment, I realized you were a spitting image of my sister. 
how she handles herself, mannerisms, among many other things. So realizing this, unfortunately, I feel that wouldn't work in a dating scenario if I kept imagining my sister, ha. Huh? You're really sweet and pleasant to be around, uh, but the connection to my sister is just super odd. My apologies. Well, we know that post wasn't from Alabama. I bet he's thinking about his other Tinder matches. I can't believe I was able to sleep with my only Tinder match. So what's your cute self looking for? Long-term relationship. Word. Mm-hmm. Lol, well, okay, so what's up? Not too much. How are you gonna find a long-term relationship if you ain't got long-term sentences? <laughs> Okay. Hey, do you like stuff? I like stuff. Stuff is great. I do like stuff. It's super great. We've got so much in common. I'll book a church. This was so much easier than everyone says. I'll start looking at a dress. I know, right? Want to throw used car batteries into the ocean with me? It feels like a terrible idea. What's the objective? To get you to message me back. It is, however, my second favorite ecosystem to destroy. Objective accomplished. What is your first favorite? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> 510 guy. Hey. 5'1 girl. No, I want 6'2. Loading up Tinder again to find the one. Aww. Titanic. Huh? Yeah, that's a bad icebreaker. <laughs> I actually didn't see that one coming. Neither did they. Wow. Jane, 19, recently active. Molly, 19, suspiciously like Jane, recently active. No, I just suck at making wise decisions. Ah, not to be straightforward, but I can be your next unwise decision. Caroline is my Nana's name. Caroline was my grandmother's name as well. Brother? I hope not. That'd make it pretty awkward when I ask you out. Stepbrother? Oh no, I'm stuck in this washing machine. Stepsis? What are you doing, stepsis? Stepbrother? Is this really how you fix a car? Well, Okay, on simps. Match with girl on Tinder. Hit her with my weak ass game. Why are all the b****s on this app so stuck up? 96 model, low mileage, no major accidents, self-sufficient, spotless interior, super performance and handling, dual front airbags, spacious rear cargo, looks good, sounds better. That is amazing. I usually go for eights, but I guess I'll settle for a 10. You win? That got me, congrats, I'm your bra now. You know what? I like that. That's- that's confidence. That's suave. That's smooth. Rachel, 20. Send me $10. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> nice move, my guy. Sent her gold digger by Kanye West. I like your style, chief. New dating app idea, called 7.5. Only for people who are like a strong 7, maybe an 8 on a good day. Who look kinda athletic, but would probably die if they had to run a mile. Have depression, but the kind that makes you funny. Cars check, engine light is on. No one else is allowed. Okay, let's just download that real quick. I like that idea. I'm gonna... I feel like I'd fit in that bracket, maybe. I feel like a kid again, because matching with you is like finding the prize in a Happy Meal. <laughs> uh, because I'm a choking hazard? Gotcha. I can't be mad about that one, LOL. You can't. You, you set him up for it. It was a hook, line, and sinker, and my man, he went for it. You, you gotta really applaud the, um, the opportunity that he took. So I will. <laughs> Allison, 18 years old. I got fired from the Smurf Bank for drinking on the on the job. Why we can't have nice things. It's exactly why we can't have nice things. Are you my appendix? Cause this feeling in my stomach makes me want to take you out. I hope I can feel you in my stomach. I do not hope that. Allie, Allie, you're asking for a tall order. If you can feel them in your stomach, there's a couple issues. Cause you're... You're, 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 you're messing with an orc. <laughs> if you can feel that man in, in your stomach, something medically is wrong. You match with Maddie on 23719. So, cuz you're in the army, are you an officer? Cuz you make my private standard attention. Boom. Oh my god, I love it. Please don't get weird. I'm 16 next month. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm an army cadet, so big oofed. <laughs> abort mission, RTB for retasking. Yeah, abort mission for sure, my dude. <laughs> Hi. Why are you awake? Just got home from work. Pfft, rough. Why? I had so many questions. Sorry, I'm pretty effed. I'm a stripper. Oh, that literally answered all of them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, babe. Sup? I'm available. I don't like that. I'm trying to say available. Available. I don't like how it sounds. It doesn't roll off the tongue like available. Y'all just need to change the English dictionary to how I say it. <laughs> I'm available. For what? I can come to your room for some fun. Where are you staying? Ah, 
most of the time I'm at the space between crippling depression and disappointing my parents, so come on over, you have a mediocre time, I assure you. I assure you, tuts. I have some bad news for you, love. What is it? Five foot four. Oh my god, I'm five foot two! You're perfect. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. That's that's a cute one. Let's take a bath, Oni. A toaster, 19. I like taking baths with people. Hell yeah, my dude. <laughs> Super like. Becca and Spencer, 24 years old. Not interested in dating. We're a married couple looking to see if anyone wants to come to church with us. We figure if you're on Tinder, you might need a little extra Jesus in your life. This is a real offer. Come with us. I think yeah, he seems all right. Blank, 18 years old. All the birds were killed in 1986 due to Reagan killing them and replacing them with spies who are now watching us. The birds work for the bourgeoisie. Damn, okay. <laughs> Damn, all right. How bold is bold? Because I eat my cereal with no milk and that's pretty bold if you ask me. You ever tried cereal with water? That's the bold I'm looking for. Now we're cooking with gas. I eat my syrup with no waffles. Cream cheese, no bagel. I eat butt through the pants. <laughs> come over, come on. You never realize how boring your life is until someone asks you what you do for fun. Play Minecraft with the boys. When I was born, I had a decision. Bomb coochie or good memory. Can't remember what I picked. <gasps> Ooh, I know what she picked. Burgers are cool. I'm more of a sub type of girl. Huh, hmm, six inches? or the full 12 inches. Damn, okay, look it, we're talking actual subs. I can only take a six inch because I'm small and can't eat more than that, LMAO. So you're a subtype that's happy with a six inch. I think we'll get along fine. There's nothing wrong with a six inch, okay? Shout out to the six inch. <laughs> I do computer science, what about you? Bad life choices, dude. Archeology. span Damn, I don't think I could go out with you then. You'd always be dating other people. It's funny. Damn, I know my pun was good, but I wasn't expecting it to make you speechless. Guess I'm just that funny, huh? Real comedian, huh? Okay, call me back. I won't disappoint you when we go out for drinks, though. I like the confidence. Will you serenade me, too? What kind of musician are you? I'm a penis. A penis. A penis. A Screw you, Siri. I'm saying penis. A pianist. I'm so sorry. Also, guitar. I guess I shouldn't leave with that one. <laughs> That's really cool. Now I want to play five truths and a lie. You game? Hell yeah, go for it. Okay, I'll throw out six things. I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. I don't have any student loans. I've done some ESPN broadcasting. I once drove six hours to Idaho with my left foot because my right foot was in a cast. I've had a vasectomy. I've been in a car accident five times. Last one's a lie. What, how'd you guess that? I want to be a detective. I'm smarter than you give credit for. LOL, I did not not give you credit for being smart. The first two are in your bio and pictures. The third is likely linked to your mention of being semi-professional in an obscure sport. The fourth is too specific to be a lie. The fifth is a wild card and therefore was likely true. But the last one is different than the others. It has a number in it, which means you've likely been in at least one car crash, but the actual total number is obviously different than what you indicated. Oh my goodness. Marry me? If it was that easy, I'd be married a million times over, my dear. It's fair. It's fair enough. Wanna smoke crack? I'll bring the crack. You supply the pipe. Holy crap, I'm impressed by how clever that is, LMAO. Sometimes you get surprised, Alex. Hey, cutie. Bat's eyes, LOL. It's gotten to the point where I can't tell who's real and who's a bud on here. Okay, now you really lost me. Bot? Oh, crap, you're a real person. There's fake accounts on here that match with you and try to direct you to campsites. Fake? Uh, no. You just never been hit on by a hot girl or something, LOL. <laughs> There's a rule of thumb on Tinder for guys about butts. One to two photos, no profile info, and messages first. You hit all of those. <laughs> okay, now you really lost me, but... Holy crap. Are you kidding me? What's wrong? Are you a real person? Uh, yes, I'm a real person. What, you never met a horny girl before? What? Why don't we hang out that night at home? Hmm. <laughs> Law JK, still too soon, no? To the neck beard that programmed this bot? I salute you. Damn, girl, you Area 51, because I'd die to get inside you. I think I gotta let you, because that's so smooth and original. Nice work, my guy. <laughs> that's off, Chief. Yes, I have a daughter. Oh, that's cool. What's it like having a mini you? It's pretty awesome, LOL. Have you taught her any cool tricks? WTF, she's not a dog, lol. How old is she? Three. It's not too late. Go on, fetch, sit, roll over. You know the classics. 
What does a wiener and a Rubik's Cube have in common? They're both my uncle's toys I played with when I was little. All I can do for that answer is clap. <laughs> Mine is nowhere near that funny. What's the difference between a cat and a coochie? Nothing. They're both things I haven't shaved since 2003. I like the answer. Wouldn't stop me though. Hey, did it hurt when you fell? My man's name is Tangelo. <laughs> like the citrus. Hey, did it hurt when you fell? You got anything better than that? What am I gonna say? Finish the line, smarty pants. <laughs> when I fell from heaven? No, it did not hurt. No, see, that wasn't the line. I don't even want to say it now. I was gonna say when you fell from the vending machine because you looked like a snack, but you were too impatient, huh? Hello? What? I'm fine. Thank you for accepting my invitation. I hope I do not disturb you. No problem. Are you a robot? How old are you? 4,000 years old. Me, I'm 22. What's your job? I basically bring souls across an interdimensional portal to feed the ancient ones. What do you do for fun? Me, I'm a caregiver. What are you doing now? Harvesting an elderly lady for organs and eventually collecting her soul. I'm alone in my room and naked. You wanna see me? Not really. This old bruh is kinda putting up a fight. Maybe later. Promise me that it'll stay between us, okay? Bruh, I just admitted to harvesting organs. You better be the one to keep quiet. Snitches get stitches after I harvest they organs. <laughs> Her Tinder bio said, Where we're going, we don't need roads. Have a date with her this week. I don't need a flux capacitor to see that you're in my future. You are the only man on here to hit me with another Back to the Future reference. You win. Damn, I can't wait to see my prize. It also helps that it's one of my favorite movie series of all time. So I'm equally impressed it's in your bio. Maybe the prize can involve you noticing the subtle Back to the Future poster that's on the wall next to my bed. Hmm. Woo! A slime, Mary. I like to super glue my thumbs to my nipples and walk around like a T-Rex. What the hell? Don't judge me. Don't judge. Girls on Tinder. How tall are you? Guys on Tinder. How much do you weigh? Girls on Tinder. You ain't supposed to do that. <laughs> I used Google Autocomplete to write a dating profile and it may be the best dating profile ever. Name. My name is in French. Age. My age in seconds. Location. I live in a shed. Nationality. I was born in the dark. Body type. My body type is ready. Reggie? <laughs> is that you? I'm looking for someone to share in an adventure who enjoys listening to sad music and has two thumbs. I enjoy long walks on the beach. I like turtles, I like dogs, and I like to party. My ideal partner would be a person who is addicted to alcohol, who can fix my car, and who thinks the earth is flat. My turn-ons are hugging and depression. My turn-offs are being blocked on WhatsApp and being found in human form. Guys that have a hard time meeting girls, have you tried painting some wings on the side of a building and waiting for them to come take pictures? And thank me later. 30 plus women on Tinder, having kids, divorced, owning a dog, not looking for a hookup. Are these personality traits? No. <laughs> I'm just sitting here, staring at my phone, hoping you respond to my first move. Wink. Haha, <laughs> do you eat booty? What? What? Uh, eat booty as in... No thanks, I'd much rather eat a booty hole than a train to kill her. Oh, eat assassin, eat ass as in... Okay, good, good meme. I'm 6'3", BTN, whatever that means. I started paying for Pornhub Premium, and now there are no hot singles in my area, so <laughs> I thought I'd give this a go. Since last summer, how long were you with your ex? Two years. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. You are... Uh, she died. Oh my god, that's horrible. Was it unexpected? Oh no, no, I planned her murder months in advance. Okay, here we have an- <laughs> I swear I get one of these every Tinder video. An Alexa, and we're saying to her, How many Amazon name puns have you heard already? A lot. Alright, hear me out though. This. This could be us. <laughs> I love you. Hey. Hey. Shut the frick up. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, sorry, that was my friend. Yeah, I'm so sorry. It was quite funny, actually. Why your face is very long? Dad's a horse. Okay, here we have side-by-side -side messages to uh, presumably roommates or something. Kristen and Emma were saying, eh, Tell Emma I said hi, and tell Kristen I said hi. Haha, <laughs> she said hi. Haha, <laughs> sitting next to her right now. Don't tell Emma, but I think she is cute. Eh, don't tell Kristen, but I think she is cute. <laughs> then why'd you match with me? So you can be a mediator for us. I can't deal with direct communication yet. Cool, you down for a threesome? Nice. Good job, <laughs> I'm proud of you mate. In fourth grade, my teacher had a poster that said, the more you know, the more you grow. I guess I didn't pay enough attention in class. I had a nice time on our date, but I don't know if I felt a spark. Sorry to let you down, XO. Uh, yeah, no worries. Honestly, I felt the same, but I did have a nice time. I hope you enjoyed your coffee. 
What the frick? <laughs> Pathetic. Pretending you don't care just because you didn't get a chance with me. Lol. <laughs> Freaking man whore. I hope your next girlfriend gives you AIDS. <laughs> what? Okay. I see. I dodged a bullet. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening. Oh, hey there. What's good? I'll tell you what's good. Scientists discovered what appears to be a lake of liquid near the south pole of Mars. That's pretty rad. Also, tomorrow scientists are releasing the first ever photo of a black hole. Freaking wild if you ask me. Are you okay? Pineapple on pizza. Yay or nay? Yay. <laughs> well, if your taste in men is as bad as your taste in pizza, you'll love me. And here we have the real ultimate mega gamer. Okay, here we've got Brad, 22. Hi guys, I'm actually 11 years old, but I need a girlfriend that can be <laughs> that can be in my Minecraft Let's Play vids, so I can use you for clickbait, get more views. Thanks. Honestly, hustler, respect, nothing but respect on this kid's name. Um, yeah, legend. Hey, are you a cigarette? Let me guess, because I'm smoking, or because I'm a life-threatening object that's been normalized by society. Nah, cause I want to get you lid and put your butt in my mouth. What? What? what the entire thing? Are you <laughs> Are you a fucking snake or something? Okay, here we have somebody, 24. A dog lover, cat hater, cargo short shredder. I'm five foot seven, swipe left if you are shorter. Ugh, short guys, right? <laughs> so gross. <laughs> hey there, fellow dog lover. They are the worst. Hmm, hmm. Are you from Miami already? This is the most like disarming conversation I've ever read. <laughs> and nope, Wisconsin, you, Miami, lol. You visiting or something? What do you do? And then I think we skip forward in the conversation a bit and go to, I'm 5'7 and it's difficult to wear heels with short guys. <laughs> Amino me gusto, <laughs> what the f***? I'm, what? I don't know. How tall are you? I'm 6'1. Why do you want to wear heels? Cause they're hot. Unlike short men, I guess, lol. Preciser. Like, why do they even exist? Seriously. I feel that way. They should, <laughs> we should get rid of them. Lol, why can't we just like sterilize them or better yet, turn them into dogs? <laughs> At least they'd have a use then. How long are you here for? <laughs> just moving on. Until Tuesday, nice. Then back to frozen Wisconsin. Yup, but summers are the base there best. Lol, I travel a lot, but I try to stay away from cold North American places because the girls tend to be fatter. Oh, frick you. Why? I just don't like fat people. Why can't they just like lose weight? I'm probably going to block you based on this. Well, you don't like short people. Why can't I have my own opinions? If short people can't gain height, fat. Well, have you ever heard of stilts, my friend? <laughs> anyway, moving on. My toe, my fist, you. They're all things I bang on my coffee table. Lol. More? Keep them coming. A keg, a fish tank, that booty, things I'd like to tap. A whistle, a dandelion, you. All things I'd like to blow. <laughs> oh crap baby, and then they fuck. Your dog was too cute to not swipe right, so I'll ask my dog if he wants to stay in contact. <laughs> oh my god, Lamel. She said yes. She asked for your number because obviously she doesn't use Tinder. I mean she is a dog, what would you expect? Alright, I'll oblige. Here you go. Okay, and next up we've got... SCSU Women's Rugby, uh, <laughs> 21 years old and only 19 miles away. Why choose one when you can have the whole damn team? We should take our dogs on a play date. True. You should let me eat your booty too. If you could be any household appliance, what would you be? Hmm, I'm thinking fridge for the obvious reason. So you can satisfy my cravings in the middle of the night? Hmm? Wording was a little different. Lol, I think I'd be a toaster to be honest. And what's the reason? So someone will take a bath with me. There's a lot of toaster bath jokes on Tinder, I've just, I've just realized. Okay, here we've got Andy, 30 years old. I'm really funny and my best audience is myself. If I end up on r slash Tinder, I will hunt you down. No, I'm not a catfish. Don't ask for my Instagram account. Sarcasm level 200 out of 10. Try to beat me at it. I deleted her off my Snapchat after not talking to her for like a week. Woke up to these messages. Dodged a bullet, folks. <laughs> you was ugly anyway, lol. Trust me, I'm too cute for you anyway. Unfriend me all you want. You ugly anyway. <laughs> I'm dead. A dead butt. <laughs> I can't say dead butt. Fucking hell. I was drunk and you look like crap. <laughs> like literally, you are like a desperate butt Tinder dude who can only get coochie on Tinder. Oh my god, wow dude. Elevate your life, my dude. You ugly as crap. Yikes, how does it feel to only get coochie online? <laughs> Lamel. Dudes like you can only get coochie. Where can dudes like me get coochie? Oh, online. Okay. 
because you ugly as frig. <laughs> Yikes, my bro. You trust, you was never gonna hit anyway with your ugly ass. <laughs> Ugly nibbers always swear they're doing something. <laughs> you look like my period bud, but also before another girl dissed the frick at your ugly butt, you shouldn't unmatch them. Lol, just to let you know so other hoes don't call you ugly. I mean, you was ugly as frick, but just a warning, most people will only swipe on your ugly butt because you're tall. You're ugly as frick, lol. Also, unmatched bad birches you delete on snap. You don't get too many baddies like myself, but if you get them, make sure you unmatch them so they can't call your ugly ass ugly. And it just goes on like this for a bit. And then just a warning, so we can't call you an ugly MF with a shrimp dick. <laughs> just helping you out, my friend. And then a gift saying, your face, it's bad. It kills self if it's small dick energy if I hadn't seen it before, lol. Don't add bitches just to delete them with your shrimp ding. No need, like I said, you're ugly as frick. Don't get too cocky. Remember, only desperate dudes are on Tinder. And clearly, you can't find any coochie on the real. Are you free tonight? Possibly after dinner. Why? Do you want to help me melt gallium? Unexpected proposition, and why would you need my help? I just need someone hot to help my body heat rise. By far the most creative pickup line I've heard. 12 out of 10. I do legitimately have gallium, not gonna lie. Then my answer is yes to both. All right, lol, you got a number? And, and then he gets it, brilliant. Here we've got black hole, 21 million years old, I'm guessing. Once you go black, you never go back. Literally. I thought I looked cute. Might suck in the whole universe later. I don't know. You're so hot. I'd suck your dad's dong just to taste the recipe. I'll suck your dad's dong and swallow just to make sure he doesn't have any more retarded kids like you. Oh, defeated, dead, wasted, everything just gone. Okay, here we have name censored. Uh, you ever heard of Elf on Shelf? <laughs> now get ready for Asian on Caucasian. Okay, here we have Africa, um, followed by, are you sick of pickup lines slash jokes about your name, or can I make one? Just go for it, honestly, I don't care at this point. Like malnutrition and disease, I'd like to be another reason why there are millions of dead children in sight. Fucking birds, man, shut the fuck. Like malnutrition and disease, I'd like to be another reason why there are millions of dead children inside of you. Can I suck your dong? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, we've got an Austin Powers gift saying, why don't we shag? Uh, brilliant, followed by... Well, we thought that was easy. <laughs> and here we have to a woman named Sunny. I usually don't share orange drinks, but today I'll give Sunny D. I mashed with you on accident. Yikes. Uh, my parents also said that I was an accident, but that never stopped me from disappointing them. Jeez. But this one time, my infirm grandpa, in his 90s, shat himself in his wheelchair while we were at a restaurant. The restaurant staff were the ones to discover it, and they started handing him napkins awkwardly to clean up. And he was actually howling with laughter the whole time, like it was the funniest experience of his life. He was a little crazy in the end, but the moral of the story is that even though accidents are unplanned, you can still enjoy sitting on them. You are something else. I, I, I don't even know why I'm replying to this. It's curiosity. You secretly want to know how bad it can get. And welcome the crap show because it never ends here. I asked my meteorologist what the weather would look like and who I'll hook up with and he said there's a 70% chance it'll be sunny in the afternoon and a 70% chance it'll be sunny in the afternoon. Oh my god. You're cute. But what, what's the catch? Wow, what a healthy attitude towards women. There it is. Hey. Would you be down for a buy three way? <laughs> it depends on the girl. Well, you know any? What's up me instead? Here's my number. Do I know any what? Any girls that would be up for it? What's up me instead? I have two girls that would be down. <laughs> Let's do it. So four way? Go into WhatsApp and chat then. No, it's a three way. Oh, sweetie, did you think you were invited? Nine in 10 real women would recommend Dave to a friend. Dave 27, 14 kilometers away. Ask me if I'm in an airplane. Are you in an airplane? No. Moving on. Save that. Why? It saves you from asking for the Wi-Fi password when you come around. <laughs> wow, that was smooth as frick. My three favorite things are eating dogs and not using commas. Clearly I need an English teacher in my life. The best of those was, let's eat grandma versus let's eat grandma. Oh, I remember being taught a different version of that one in grade school. I think it went something like, let's eat out, someone. You're clever. Like, that was actually really good. Good enough to get your number? I feel like we're 50% there. Whoa, I'm living. <laughs> oh, okay, halfway there. Okay, I get it. 54%. Oh man, tough crowd. 
I felt like your percentage was increasing too fast. Don't worry, I'm never in a rush. Would you hold on to something while I take a walk though? A dog? My hand. We'll make it, I swear. That was slick. Five points for Gryffindor. I feel like that was worth exactly 15% towards the running goal. Okay, I'll say 65%. Would you rather be sexually attracted to fish or always have Cheeto dust on your fingers? Am I attracted to all fish now or just the cute ones like normal? Also, I think you forgot the extra 4% I earned. I said I'll give you the extra points to make it 55% total. Compromise, man. Uh, all fish and only fish. Like, you are only aroused by fish. Oh, that's fine with me. You're quite the catch and I seem to have you on the hook. You're getting closer, 75%. I'm glad that I'm reeling you in. Here's my number. You can earn the rest of the percentage later, I suppose. And here we have to Izzy. Can I get busy with Izzy? Busy. Can I get busy with Izzy? You're not good with spelling. <laughs> you... You're not good with spelling. You're... <laughs> oh no. Just do it! In response to something elegant, iconic, Shia. Shia LaBeouf. Oh, now I'm hard. I didn't know anyone ate Funyuns after 8th grade. I didn't know anyone still referenced The Office on their bio after 2016. 